Welcome back. Day number 48 on the Dream Shop build. Things are going well. We have actually 12 days before we have to move in. So there's a lot done and there's a lot to be done. Uh, before we go out in the shop and actually show you what has been going on, I have a couple orders to pack for Car Guy Supplies. So let's do it. done we'll bring them to the post office a little later let's go out into the shop show you what's going on oh, yeah. all right kitchen area they've made some progress on you can see that we have drywall now on all the walls enclosed little closet area prepping the floor they're gonna be putting down flooring it's just stick and peel kind of uh, vinyl texture we noticed as we start building the shop that it costs a lot of money. So we had to cut some corners, so we're not doing nice floors in the kitchen, just peel and stick, good to go. Lighting guys have been here working hard. So we have lights in our wash bay now. These are special lights. They have covers on them so they can get wet. Um, I'll have all the specs and the lumens and the manufacturer and the brand and everything about them in the description below. I'm not exactly sure. I know they're like, these are eight foot LED strips. They're about 100,000 lumens per fixture there so there's a lot of light in here we actually had one damaged over there uh, that one will be shipped in next week put in should I try to hang from these you think that's a good idea or <laughs> we got to test them to make sure they're solid <laughs> good <laughs> Garage doors are still not in. We've actually had some problems um, structurally with the engineer. It's been out here a couple times to just to figure out how to do this properly so they don't fall in or cave in. Uh, they're actually gonna be out here next week. They gotta put some metal plates and some iron plates in there to secure everything and make sure this wall is safe and secure before they actually put the garage door in. Like I said, we do have 12 days before we have to move in. April 1st is our deadline. We are, they're kicking us out of the other place. Our lease is up, so we have no choice but to move in here so a lot has been done in the 12 in the last couple weeks but 12 days to get the rest of it done there's gonna be some late nights here um, you can see that they have done all the drywall is up we're gonna paint it next week The guys were actually in here last week detailing the detail shop. You wouldn't believe how dirty these rafters were up here. I don't know how old the building is. I, you know, I think it may be 30 to 50 years old, but that was 30 years of dust just sitting on these nasty rafters and everything. And so those are nice and clean. We don't want any dust in here. We want it as clean as possible. So before we get in here with all our stuff and all the cars, they used leaf blowers, got up there, blew all that dust down so it should be nice and clean now. Greg and the crew are gonna come this afternoon actually and to start to run the lines for all the chemical drops. So in each bay here, we're gonna have our chemical drops like we have in our other shops. We'll have all the important chemicals, we'll have air, we'll have window cleaner, tire shine, all the stuff that we use a lot, the all-purpose cleaner for the interior. We'll have all that directly in the bays, easy, nice to reach for, never have to worry about bottles or filling up or dilution ratios. It's just there, it's nice, it's easy, it's convenient. This will be the fifth detailing bay. Uh, we decided not to put the chemical drops in here yet because this is actually gonna be where Car Guys Supplies is gonna be moving to right now where we have it up in the front. That's gonna be all office area for customers and ourselves to have desks into. So right now we're gonna move the temporary Car Guy Supplies warehouse storage area right in this corner here. We'll have some nice tables, computer, shipping area and everything. So that'll be nice. 
We're getting a ceiling put in the clean room. They're gonna put a grid, they put a grid down. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I'm excited to see it. They just got a bunch of lines in there right now that you can see, but the, I guess we'll do a grid and then we're actually gonna drywall it. So excited to see that go in. What's going on, man? How you doing? So this is the grid, huh? This is the grid, yeah. He was explaining it to me and I'm like, how's it? I'm like, I didn't know if they were gonna frame it out and drywall it or, but this is just it. It's just a metal grid. I see you. Thanks for watching. The next video that you're gonna see, we're actually gonna be in the shop. So it might be a couple weeks. We'll get everything put in, all the equipment, and we'll be working in here. So if you haven't seen the other videos of our updates, go back and check them out. The progress throughout this whole shop build, um, it's, it's coming together. It looks like a shop now. I'm excited to be in here and to work in here. And I know all the guys from Glen Allen are excited to be in here too. So thanks for watching. See you next time.